Let's make some Singapore chicken curry. One cinnamon stick, one star anise, five cloves, four green cardamoms, six black peppercorns, four white peppercorns, one teaspoon of fennel seeds, one tablespoon of coriander seeds, two tablespoons of cumin seeds, one bay leaf, and three dried chilies. Toast until aromatic into a spice grinder, some freshly grated nutmeg, blissy bliss until powder forms. I'm using three bony chicken thigh, seasoned with salt, some mushroom powder, and half of the masala. Mixy mix. I slit some slashes onto the chicken thigh, cover and marinate in the fridge overnight. Hydrate 20 grams of dry chili in some warm water. In the meantime, wash about 500 grams of Yukon gold potatoes thoroughly, and coarsely slice them into wedges. Season with some salt, and bring it up to a simmer. One lemon grass. 2 red onions, 3 cloves of garlic, 1 tablespoon of balajan, 1 turmeric, 1 candlenut, 1 inch ginger, 2 red chilies, 1 inch galangal. I'm using this. Add in the hydrated chilies and the rest of the masala. Mixy mix. I'm using a stick blender to blissy blitz until smooth paste form. 2 tablespoons of coconut oil. Add in the chicken skin side down. Cover and cook for 2 to 3 minutes. Flip once the bottom is crispy brown. Cover and cook for 1 to 2 minutes. And now it's done. At this point, the potato should be fork tender. Drain and set down aside. Add in the rumpa and deglaze. Add some water to wash the bowl and into the rumpa. Mixy mix. 1 tablespoon of soya sauce, 1 tablespoon of coconut oil, and mixy mix. Cook until the liquid has evaporated and it should look something like this. 300 grams of coconut milk. Wash 3 pandan leaves thoroughly and tie into a knot. Into the curry. 500 grams of chicken stock and mixy mix. Add in the potatoes, the chicken and all its juices. Mixy mix. Bring it up to a simmer. Season with some sugar and salt. Mixy mix. Cover and cook for 18 to 20 minutes. Stir occasionally to prevent burning. And now it's done. Some coriander and some of the dry kati pata. Mixy mix. Taste and adjust for seasonings and auto serving bowls. The PSD resistance. Some potatoes and some coarsely diced baguette. Some more coriander. Enjoy. Get the full article at fatto.sg Let's devour this. This is super chickalicious. Please give this a try. I hope mine doesn't look like this. If you still remember this version from New York Times. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have fun in the kitchen.